Ready? Sixteen incher, number one. So I don't know if you guys are like me or not. I'm glad the spawn's almost over with. It gets to be very tough fishing on a lot of lakes. These fish get so stressed out, being pulled off their beds, this, that, just doing what they do. They're hard to catch in a lot of, lot of lakes this time of year. My thing is, I usually downsize. Downsize, everything you're throwing seems to help. But covering water, to me, is key. If you ever see me out there, you're going to see me bounce all over the place. To me, it betters my odds. Whether I'm dock fishing, whether... It doesn't matter what type of fishing you're doing. If you can cover more water, the better off I think you're going to be. Chunker. I'm just going to show you guys some of the baits that I throw this time of year. A lot of worms, a lot of Cinco baits, and turds. I mean, I, this is what I use this weekend. Those things are just dynamite this time of year. Jigs, small jigs. Of course, I got a chatterbait tied on. But no, I have a plethora of worms, Cinco's, you know, twisty tails. They come a little later. But you never know. Don't ever not try them. Everybody makes a good worm. Color-wise, I mean, it, let them fish tell you what they want is the best thing I can tell you. You know, natural colors, green pumpkin, blue fleck is always a good one. Has been forever. Red shad, you can't go wrong. You know, but don't get out of the realm either. Some red glitter, you know, smooth, bumpy. Let them tell you what they want. Dustin and I are on Lake Tippecanoe, USA Bassin. We got a limit in the first hour. We stopped at two spots. Going to our third now. Try to upgrade all day. We caught a lot of fish so far. It seemed shallow into the weeds. We tried a few spots deeper. Nothing's happening, so. See. Mr. Dustin, you got anything to add to that? Other than we need two fives? We need Six two sevens. Two what seven. we have now. What we have now? Yeah. <laughs> little trick you go through a lot of baits doing this I haven't found a way around it but it keeps the bait weedless and it gets you some good hook sets you know everybody loves to wacky rig stuff plain and simple you hook it in the middle boom 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 not very weedless though okay but if you run that bait you run your hook completely through Imagine if you had a line tight on this, you left it like this, and just skin hooked the bait. So you're still pulling from this point, but now your bait's just skin hooked on the outside. Give it a try, guys. You'll go through a lot of baits, but you'll catch a lot of fish, and it's, it's a lot more weedless. Need a net. It's big. They got hot asses over here. Yeah. He'll help. They got hot asses over here, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. You got a leech on them, see it? Yep. You've been eating Show them. The camera. You've been eating them leeches. Say leech. Sometimes you got, you got a leech right here. 
put it real close. Well, if you want a Texas rig and you're afraid you're not going to get that hook through that worm, the skin hook and I was talking about earlier. Now, I used to do this with tubes a lot because I used two Texas rig tubes, which a lot of people don't do unless they're going through the weeds or whatever, but I would open water fish them and I would always skin hook them. And all you're doing is basically Texas rigging them like you would normally do. But instead of going through the center of the worm and bringing it out, I would just barely bring it to the side and I would just catch a little bit of the skin. Right there on the side. You're gonna get a better hookup. Trust me, it does work. Get out there and try it, guys. Try different things. Dude, they're chomping this thing. Yeah. Well, could be the way you're, you might need to fish a little faster. Know what I mean? That thing will help because he's got a big head on him, don't he? Yeah, but I think he's better than some of them other ones. GoPro, stop recording. Look at that. That's a big old crappy. <laughs> that ain't what we're looking for. Thing I do a lot, if it's a lot of weeds in the area and I want to pull a small worm through it, I don't want to do it wacky style. Jig heads are phenomenal. They're not totally weedless either, but you can have the weight and you get a different action out of it other than Texas rigging it. Simply put the hook inside and slide her up just like you would anything else. You're gonna get a different action out of that guys. You'll get through the weeds a little better. Go ahead, grab them real quick. Just Look, Dustin just did. He swallowed the hook, so hopefully we can keep him going. We mountain dewed him, and we're going to try like hell to keep him alive. Help us. He ain't helping a whole lot. Dustin and I are on our way into the weigh-in. We're thinking 12, 13 pounds. Uh, Dustin caught the big ones today, but he also lost the big ones today. Uh, one of them was probably about five pounds. Uh, we it, we seen it. It came close to the boat. But uh, we're gonna see what uh, we have. Here shortly. I'll take 12, 13 pounds anytime I'm out. I'm not sure how everybody else did. Some places had fish, some didn't. We pretty much caught everything on wacky sinkos and finesse worms and a few on Ned Rig. What I throw a lot of my sinko stuff on, I got a seven foot carbon light Bass Pro Shop rod. I love this thing. It's probably a medium action. It's a little stiffer. Some guys like them a little lighter. I, I like the little bit stiffer rod. The reel, it's just a Bass Pro formula is all it is. Nothing fancy dancy. Eight pound fluorocarbon is the way to go. I know Ray even switched to straight fluorocarbon because he used to do the braid, tie the knot, leader, this, that. It's just not worth it. Fluorocarbon straight is just much easier when it comes to this style of fishing. So, Get you a setup. Get out there and try these things. I'm sure they're gonna help, guys. We'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.